canine dementia. CCD, canine cognitive dysfunction. It's a condition that affects older dogs and impairs their memory, learning, and comprehension. This is Bruce. He has CCD. Right now, he's barely walking to the left. You'll notice he keeps wanting to take turns to the right. If you could see his legs, he'd be throwing them forward, flopping them, almost just hoping they would hit the ground. This is Bruce's last walk before he had a stroke and we had to put him to sleep. I think he's sitting down, taking a break. Here's some tips that I can offer in regards to dealing with a dog with dementia. Um, keep an eye on their weight, make sure they're eating. They'll just forget they're even eating or even how to eat sometimes. Use hand signals, smile, have just good body energy so you're not putting any undue stress on the dog. The dog's not being disobedient, even though a lot of people like to think that. Old dogs aren't usually looking for trouble. Keep the noise down, outside stress, things like that. Stimulate him, pet him, rub his belly, rem make him remember what it's awesome about being a dog. Scratch his ears, make him smile. That still all happens. Move furniture, have ramps. Try to keep the dog walking best you can. Some days Bruce didn't want to move, but if I put the camera harness on him, he would all of a sudden perk up and want to go for a walk. Another thing was, is we could not leave him alone long five hours max and uh, we also had to start closing off access to other rooms especially smaller rooms like a bathroom or a laundry room we would find them in precarious spots in the bathroom like stuck stuck in the shower or stuck in between the toilet and the shower and uh, heaven lord forbid I wouldn't there were times I was just terrified thinking about what could have happened if we just left, like, the bathroom door open. And Bruce went in there and ended up creating a situation he couldn't get out of. So it's been terrifying in that respect because you don't really want to leave him alone. And I can only imagine, like, people in less fortunate circumstances who have to go away for long periods of time with a dog with dementia. It, the results would be heartbreaking decisions that you have to make. Here I am, checking up on Bruce. Still just fighting to walk to the left. And you just can't understand why he can't walk to the left, because he just ends up somewhere else. I have weeks of, the, of videos on this channel of Bruce walking with a camera on and you can see it slowly start to form over time. He would walk to the right in a circle, stare for 30 seconds, give it a go, end up walking to the right. Not sure what happened. He really was built like a tank though, if, if we ever thought he was going to truly get hurt we would have never put him in this situation, so just so you guys know, this was, this was what Bruce considered to be fun. We'll make our way back in. Oh, 
and of course, Bruce, the second you ask him if he wants to make his way back in, he immediately wants to walk around more. Well, either way, this is what dementia looks like in second person view for a canine. I hope and pray that none, nobody that watches this ever has to go through this. Uh, it was heartbreaking watching one of the happiest, coolest dogs I've ever had the pleasure of knowing just slowly slip away like this. Right now I'm walking alongside of him and he's pushing into the side of my left leg and as he comes forward he kind of braces off of me and then ends up walking kind of straight. And there's Lexi Cat. Bruce and Lexi were really good friends. But there you go. This is the vibe or the idea or the behavior that you'll see with a dog with advanced stage dementia. I sat him down to let him just chill out with Lex for a little while and drink some water after this. Thanks for watching.